Hey everybody, this is Kim. I'm back with my review of Smith, episode two. The name of this episode is 1800 filet of fish and one small diet coke. To me, this was a good episode, but it was just one particular scene that seemed like it was the best of the whole show. But um, this one starts off with um, Bridget and Tutu at the grocery store. Um, Tutu is, is trying to figure out what kind of tomatoes to, um, to use. You know, it's a variety of tomatoes and she just can't figure it out which kind she wants to use. I don't know. So then as you see, um, Bridget and Larry is, um, she's pushing Larry in the cart and she's riding on the basket and everything. You can clearly tell that Bridget um, is like a, a big kid. But this scene wasn't all that exciting. They just at the grocery store. Now in the next scene, Bridget noticed that Larry has a big rash on his forehead and she has to take him to see um, the doctor. She called Tutu and told and asked Tutu if she could take Larry to the doctor and um, that she thinks Larry has um, chicken pox. And Tutu says, well, um, you need to be careful because you haven't had chicken pox. And so Bridget says, um, yeah, I've had chicken pox because I have the mark on my face to prove it. And she was like, no, you never had chicken pox. And um, I guess Tutu got upset because she was like, uh, you know, okay, I just, I'm a bad mom. And she hung up on Bridget. And this thing, you see her riding the bus, her and Larry is sitting down and it seems as though Larry is all over the place while they're on the bus. So now they're at the um, clinic, and as you see, is the lines is super long. It must be like a free clinic or something. So this is basically that scene, and now Rafi is coming up, and he's telling her, um, you know, basically how long is this going to take, and, you know, I got an AA meeting, and I can't miss it, and she's basically telling him, you know, hey, you know, your son needs to be seen. I have to go to work to make money and you just have a, a AA meeting to go to. Um, telling him, you know, you need to stand in this line and, and wait for the doctor. So they finally make it to the head of the line, um, the front of the line and, and come to find out they're in the wrong line. So now they have to go to another line and, and wait. So Ralphie is like, you know, I can't wait in this line. I have to go to my meeting. So um, Nelson, which is his girlfriend says, you know, I'll wait, I love lines. And so it's on that scene now that she's sitting there waiting for the doctor or so. Bridget has left the clinic and she's at work now. So Bridget tells the lady that she worked for that um, Larry might have chicken pox. And the lady goes on to say, well, make sure it's not some kind of disease. And, you know, now Bridget is wearied again. So now um, the oldest son comes in the house, which is, I think his name is Casey. He comes in and, you know, speak and small talk with Bridget and things like that. Bridget Boss is now calling her into the bathroom. She needs a towel or whatever. So she talks and tell her how she got to do all these different things. She's going to go to a, a yoga class. Now Bridget is just kind of looking around, don't know what to do. And I guess she's done tutoring the kids or whatever. So now she decides to hop in the bath water that her boss just got out of. Ugh, disgusting. <laughs> so now she's in the tub taking a bath and just kind of relaxing and you know, filling the water like she's in heaven. <laughs> so um, after that, after she get out the bathtub, she um, puts her boss robe on and playing her boss makeup and put her jewelry on. And, and like I said, she feel like she's living a life. She's all lounged back in the bed and just having a good old time. <laughs> So now the son comes into the room and, and you know, just kind of look at her like, you know, you know how to tie a tie? And she was like, yeah, I could tie it. She don't. So um, they start talking and next thing you know, they acting like 
they're a couple. You know, now they're calling each other Mr. Mr. Um, Marshall, and she's supposed to be Mrs. Marshall. You know, and next thing you know, it get hot and heavy, and they start kissing and all this stuff, and now they're actually having sex. As they're having sex, um, Bridget phone ring, and it's Nelson. <laughs> Quite naturally, Nelson is like, hey, well, you know, what are you doing? Are you working out? She's so jolly. So jolly. <laughs> she seemed like one of those people that's just happy all the time. Just, you know, do the right thing type of person, but okay. So she was like, no, you know, what is it? And so she's asking, um, Bridget, if it's okay that the doctor, you know, give Larry, you know, some shots because of um, Ralphie is totally against the baby getting his shots, you know, and Bridget is all for it. Tell Nelson to go ahead and, you know, let the doctor do it. So now it's back. She hang up the phone and, and they're still going at it now. <laughs> KC is ready to release. So he's going at it and asking her, hey, you know, you want me to come in you? <laughs> and she was like, what? What? And he was like, where, where do you want me to put it? <laughs> she was like, no, push him, push him off. And he rolls on the floor and next thing you know, he come all over himself and in his face and eyes and everything. <laughs> so now he wants some, um, some visine for his eyes. Now remember, she still have on this lady robe and all this stuff. She goes in the kitchen trying to, you know, looking all over the house for her some, um, visine for Casey's eyes, you know, and, um, <laughs> As she's looking in the garage, I don't know why she go in the garage. Why would you keep, well, I don't know. Maybe it's a rich people thing. I don't know. I was just kind of curious. Why would the Vizine be in the garage? But she go in the garage and she see that the lady she worked for is, is not at yoga. She's actually in the car and <laughs> I guess she only went left the house and just went to McDonald's and just ordered a, a lot of food. So the boss is actually sitting in the car eating the McDonald's and, and she see that Bridget is out there in the garage. So she's ducking, you know, trying to hide, ho hoping um, Bridget don't see her or whatever. So Bridget walks over to the car and, and was like, you know, are you okay? And she was like, you know, get in. You want, you eat McDonald's? <laughs> And, you know, Bridget get in, she tell her to just scoot all of the empty items. And, you know, I guess she's eating fish filet, filet of fish or however they call it. You know, she, I guess she think that's the healthy part of McDonald's. It's not. Nothing at McDonald's is healthy. But if you see this McDonald's and you want to sponsor me, I will gladly take that. <laughs> I'm just saying. I need a little help. Come help me. So um, she was like, well, you know, I, you know, usually when I get McDonald's, I just take it over to another neighborhood and throw it in their trash cans. I don't get that. So what McDonald's is in your trash? Who cares? Who's going through your trash anyway? I don't get it. So Bridget is sitting there eating and, and you know, her boss is kind of pouring her heart out and all that stuff. And so now Bridget is back at Tutu's house and she noticed that um, Tutu didn't make the pasta. So now she's wondering, you know, like what happened? She just didn't make it. So basically that's how that scene ended. You know, she went up and she started talking to her, just trying to put Tutu at ease because she could tell that Tutu is having an episode, I guess her illness is starting to kick in a little bit because she's doing a whole lot of reminiscing and, um, you know, just feeling very depressed and everything. So now she's just trying to put her back into uh, a better mood. So we're going to see what happens on the next episode. Like I said, this episode was just okay. Um, to me, the best part in this episode was the whole bathroom scene, you know, with with Bridget taking a bath and her boss's filthy, nasty water. 
and then she turned around and and have sex with the little boy that she used to tutor. And now that he's in Harvard, he's in college, you know, I guess now she see him as a grown man. So I'm kind of wondering if Bridget is gonna be having sex in every episode. <laughs> is that what this is all about? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to stick with this show and I actually like it, but I'm not really feeling, um, Tutu's role, you know, Rosie O'Donnell's part in this show. You know, everything else kind of works for me, but Rosie O'Donnell part, I don't get it. You know, and I guess it just kind of shows the dysfunctional part of Bridget's life, maybe. I don't know, but I'm not really understanding her, her part. You know, so I don't know. Maybe you all could help me figure that part out. Don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, leave a comment at the bottom, tell me what you think, ask me a question, I'll ask you a question. Let's talk about it. See you in the next one, peace.